introduce you to Barry. Barry is going to be your tour guide for the day. Well, at least for an hour. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll do just two and a half hours because they have to leave. Uh, well, okay. No problem. So is that okay? is the fact that no matter what you do, if you can write well, the odds are you can probably find a job in communication and you can find a job in media. And media offers a lot of jobs. It's a, the guy who watches out for the uh, computers, the guy who watches out for the telephones. It's all a big spread. Sort of the fascinating part, the magic of television and stuff. But what they do is they we use something called a teleprompter. Anybody know what a teleprompter is? Okay. Anybody teleprompter is really a television set where the script is that they talk about, and that's what you get to see. If you watch the news programs and stuff, those people are really reading a script. Now, the magic of all of this is that if you can see up on here, which is the teleprompter, the words are upside down. Regardless of what the media is telling you, regardless of what the news is saying, regardless of the, what the statistics are telling you, um, growing up in Oakland as a young black female um, to a single mother, statistically, um, I should have I should have been pregnant. I should have dropped out of school and I should have never finished college. You know, I have two associate's degrees, one bachelor's degree, so it's possible, and no student loans, so it's possible, um, and just stay focused. Welcome back to KQED. You get it live here with E Master E. Yeah, we're here live with Alante. How does it feel to be here? Pretty good. Woo Pretty good. <laughs> here, here. VIPs in the room today. I have a couple people called the Goonies here. Cesar Cruz, one of the biggest activists I've ever heard of. Javier Martinez is on the line right now. Let's hold him, see what he wants. <laughs> Javier, you're live. What's up? What's up? And we're here at the studio. You're live. Say what's up to the people. Oh, aren't you, you ain't gonna go to work? I don't. And there's no work today because they. Uh, I mean, I mean. Uh. That's what mathematicians write when they finish solving a problem. Like, uh, if they carried it that far, and you were taking algebra or trigonometry in school, when you finish the problem, you would put QED that says, "I have finished successfully." When you're in the television business and you're working with the government, you're never through. <laughs> different ways to say things. Right? So what I used to, I have a toolbox, and I used to only have one tool in there, it was a hammer. So I just bang everything. I just bang on it, that's all I had, just bang, bang, bang. And what I realized, right, as I, as I grew up, grew a little older, got a little wiser, is that you need a lot of tools to build a house. Sometimes you need a hammer. Sometimes you need a wrench, sometimes you need a screwdriver. So add more tools in your toolbox okay, and figure out what each situation calls for. If you need the hammer, bring the hammer. But sometimes you just need a little screwdriver. 